This segment is sponsored in part by providing 100% clean energy by 2040. When you're a major energy company serving millions of people, going green takes a lot of work. Con Edison has several big construction projects underway that will fundamentally change the way we receive energy, connecting New York to cleaner power. Those projects will also help improve health concerns in communities too long overlooked. This may look like your standard substation in Long Island City, but it's actually part of a major milestone in Con Edison's commitment to clean energy. Tim Cawley is the CEO of Con Edison. It originates here, and it's a six-mile transmission line between this location right behind me and Corona, Queens. That new six-mile-long transmission line, along with upgrades at both substations in Long Island City and Corona, will increase the amount of power flowing through the stations and will carry clean energy that will help shut down peaker plants that operate when demand for power is high. Peaker plants are, are typically older fossil fuel burning plants uh, with high emissions. And so these transmission projects will allow us to retire those third party owned peaker plants. The Queens transmission line is the first of three reliable clean city projects planned over the next few years. Another line is set to run through the Greenwood Heights section of Brooklyn. And a third line is planned in Staten Island from Bloomfield to Rosebank. Those two are set to connect to the energy grid by 2025. This project ensures electricity service continue after the Peakers plant's retirement and that we can seamlessly connect our electrical grid to new energy sources in the future. Along with eliminating fossil fuels, it helps bring a sense of environmental justice closer to the neighborhoods neglected in the past. Big Alice and the smokestacks of Ravenswood. When those plants were built in 1963, they ran on coal. Just not even a mile away from here is one of the largest public housing complexes in the state of New York, Queensbridge Houses. We're not making mistakes like that anymore. In fact, the stretch along the East River in Queens became known as Asthma Alley. We have to understand that the, the fuel that we're using now is not sustainable. It's made us sick, it's given us asthma. Over in Brooklyn, a massive clean energy project is just starting to take shape. So this is going to be the location of the new Brooklyn Clean Energy Hub. Okay. What we're doing right now is demolishing these older facilities that were here for over 100 years. Um, and this new facility is going to allow for offshore wind to be connected to New York City. And obviously this is in line with our clean energy goals to be 100% um, clean by 2040. That's a Con Ed in the New York State goal. Bobby Kennedy is the project manager of Con Edison's Brooklyn Clean Energy Hub. So the whole idea is bring the clean energy in here and then send it across to other parts of Brooklyn that have reliability needs, areas that are growing. What's different about the Brooklyn Clean Energy Hub than any other substations we have ever built is because it's specifically designed to connect with renewable resources. And that's what the hub does. It allows basically to run a giant extension cord from wherever renewable resource right into New York City. New York City Councilman Lincoln Ressler represents part of Brooklyn that includes Vinegar Hill. We're really excited to finally start to realize our renewable energy future now. How do you expect this clean energy hub to affect the community here? This has been a power plant for more years than I can remember and I'm excited to see it be a hub for clean energy and the necessary investments are being made so that we can power our homes, our neighborhoods, our businesses with renewable energy. Con Edison says all the upgrades are necessary as our city and the world continue to use more and more electricity. And the driver for that growth is both the electrification of heating as we move away from oil and natural gas onto heat pumps, and we've got lots of programs to encourage that, and also transportation. Uh, people are going to be charging their electric vehicles off the grid, so we're going to have to build the grid out to meet that demand. So more renewables in, more demand coming in as well, and that's what this transition is all about. The Brooklyn Clean Energy Hub will be ready in 2028. The cost for all four projects is roughly $1.6 billion. If you compare the energy transition cost to what I would call the do-nothing case, and we let climate change take off where we'd go otherwise, the costs of more frequent, more severe storms and flooding would outweigh the costs of proactively addressing it on the front end. To learn more about Con Edison's groundbreaking initiatives towards a clean energy future, visit coned.com slash 